Hi! I'm so glad you came in. Yeah, I missed you last month. What happened? Oh, you got a face massage? Yeah, estheticians usually do that. Oh, you didn't know it wouldn't be me. Yeah, when you have um, just a face massage, our estheticians are so well trained in that. Um, and some of them specialize. What kind of uh, face massage did you get? Oh, the ruins. Yeah, our estheticians are really trained, and I know we have someone who specializes in the, sort of the metaphysical aspect. So she probably did that for you. And you booked our Honey Deluxe treatment today? Yay! I love that you're so adventurous and you always book like the newest uh, treatment that we have out because we spend so much time learning them and then sometimes people are a little bit nervous about trying something new and so we have these incredible, incredible treatments with fabulous products and um, and we get, you know, we have some people like you who want to try them out, but then we get a lot of people who are really nervous about them. So I always love that I get to uh, do these treatments for you. So let me tell you all about the Honey Deluxe. I'm so excited about it. Okay, so again, we are mostly working with honey. So it's got wonderful properties for your skin. And what we start off with is we actually use organic raw honey and we're just using um, the wholesome brand right now um, organic raw honey is wonderful you can get it at all different kinds of places you can get it in a grocery store now which is really nice um, at local farmers markets but here I'm gonna open this up for you it's a brand new jar smell that. Oh, I know. So, we do get a new jar for everyone getting this treatment. So I'm actually going to use this to scoop it out into a bowl when we use it for your treatment. So I'm not going to use my hands or anything. And then you get the rest so you can um, eat it. <laughs> or you can use it for treatments at home or whatever you want. Um, if you have allergies, uh, there's some recommendation of using local honey and trying to have the um, getting like small doses of the local uh, flora that may be causing your allergies and sort of ingesting it with the honey and sometimes that helps with allergies so the nice thing about raw honey is it has a bit of a texture to it so let me scoop some of this out into a bowl And you will see it's got this texture that um, just the, you know, the honey you get from a regular tube does not have, like the liquid, more liquid honey. This is very solid, you'll see. Um, and it's not sticky. So you see, I just rubbed that right into my hand not sticky at all. I don't feel sticky at all. The raw honey also has little, a little bit of texture to it, so it's really great for a scrub. So what we start off with is I'm going to use this honey as a scrub all over your body. Um, and I can see you're all ready and already have um, everything all set up with the uh, the paper panties and everything. And so we're going to do that. I am going to then use um, a wet towel, a nice warm wet towel, just to wipe it off a little bit so um, you don't have too much on your skin since we are using it as a scrub. We could honestly just use a little bit and use it as your massage lotion because it's not bad for your skin. So I'm not going to be very careful to get all of it off because we don't want all of it off. It's very hydrating and so it will soak into your skin. But what we do do, and this is really special, so we have this product. 
I don't know if you've ever seen anything like this. It's um, a wax pot, but this is beeswax. And it's got a wick in it, so you light it. I'm going to light it. Actually, why don't I light it right now? And then that will burn. And then the wax will be warm, and we can use it for your massage. It's not going to be too hot, plus I'm going to be pouring it into my hands first. So if it were too hot, it would burn me and not you, but it's not. It's not going to be too hot. I use it all the time. I actually use it at home a lot. So there we've got that candle burning. And it's just going to warm up the wax in there. See? And once the wax is warm, it will be perfect. I'll just put that right. Uh, no, I'm not. It will be perfect for our massage oil. It's nice too because um, it really kind of seals the honey into the skin. That because it's waxy. Um, do you want to feel some of it? Here, just let me. See. I'm gonna pour some onto my hand. Just give me your hand. So it, yeah, it doesn't feel at all like um, like can't like normal candle wax because it's not. It's it's beeswax anyway, but um, it really just feels like a nice hydrating lotion, right? Okay, and then. I'm also going to spend some extra attention on your face because we're again going to use the raw honey. So this is where honey really just blows everything else out of the water. We're going to use the raw honey on your face um, because not only is it cleansing, it works like a mask. If you leave it on, it works like a hydrating mask and it is also like a moisturizer. It's really hydrated. So what I'm going to do is I am going to put put it on kind of heavy on your face like a mask. Leave it on there while I um, use it use it as a scrub on the rest of your body. Then I'm, I am going to wipe it off your face because I'm going to use quite a lot, uh, but not too much. And then I'm actually going to use a special honey lotion that we have. Um, and this is honey and oatmeal. So, hopefully, that will work really well for you. Okay. Yeah, and it just says it moisturizes the skin, leaving it fragranced with a sensual and luminous scent born of the union of honey and oatmeal. So it, the oatmeal is calming to your face, too. Okay, let's get ready for your Honey Deluxe treatment. All right. Are you comfortable on the table? Good. All right, so I'm just going to start off with the raw honey. Just taking a big scoopful in my hand. So I'm just going to start rubbing that all over your back, on your shoulders,
feel okay. Not too much pressure. Oh, doesn't it smell heavenly? Oh my gosh. I love this treatment. I'm so excited you got it. Okay, let me just get the backs of your arms. Avoiding your hair, don't worry. Although, I would recommend next time, we have a new treatment coming up that's called coconut. And the coconut oil hair treatment is so amazing. Yeah. And it is one where I really can just teach you how to do it at home too. Since, like, doing your own scalp massage isn't that hard, really. This warm white towel. Okay. And I'm just going to wring it out one more time. Yeah, it's really wet. Okay, because I don't want to take all the honey off. Normally I would use it wetter. But I'm really just going to very quickly go over your back. And down your legs. Now really, that's all I'm going to do with the towel. Okay, now I'm going to take a dry towel and just make sure you're nice and dry. Now you have a decision to make. We can do this one of two ways. We can either do your massage on your back now, then have you flip over and do the scrub and the massage on the front and the face treatment or we can do the entire scrub and then have you flip over um, and do the entire scrub on both sides and then have you do the entire massage on both sides do you have a preference yeah um if it were me I would honestly do one side and so that I only had to flip over once so that I could um, just relax and maybe even sleep. <laughs> but that's me. You want to do the same thing? Okay. All right. Okay, then it's a good thing I lit this because I'm going to pour some of this into my hand. just grasping the skin a little bit. I'm going to roll your skin this time. I don't always do that. but um, So I'm just going to kind of pinch a little bit of skin and just kind of roll that little piece of skin all the way up. Yeah, no. Not everybody's skin is, um, is, is able to do that. kind of depends on any, um, how sticky <laughs> your skin is. So some people's skin you can pick up like that, but you can't, but yours you can. Okay, getting back to your arms a little bit. Okay. 
And do you mind if I do a little bit of glute massage through the sheet? Yeah, I'm not going to go under the sheet. Is that okay with you? Okay, so I'm just going to use my knuckles on your glutes. Mm -hmm. and then use my four fingers right where the glutes attach to your spine. Just using a little bit of friction, a little bit of pressure, rocking you a little bit. Okay, and now I'm going to use my elbows and just, yeah, I like using elbows for glutes um, because honestly a lot of people are uncomfortable with glute massage, although it's really important. A lot of times people have low back problems, it's actually their glutes. Okay, let me get the other side. But people don't feel very uncomfortable if they know it's my elbow. It's um, not a very personal part of my body. Um, and I can actually use a lot of really deep pressure with my elbows. And glutes can take a lot of deep pressure a lot of time. And so I really like doing that. Does it feel, feel good? Okay. So I'm going to get a little bit more of this lotion. Just getting the legs. Back to your thighs. And separating the muscles in the back of your calf. Yeah, it's got two halves, so I can just use my thumb and run it up. Right, I'm just going to bend your leg a little bit, flex your foot, point your foot, rotate your ankle, and then press it back towards your butt, stretching out your quadriceps in the front of your thigh. And I'm going to, okay, so this may feel a little weird, I'm going to put my knuckles next to your hip, and then I'm going to rotate your foot back and forth as I slowly lower your leg back down. Okay, great. All right, let me do the same thing on the other side. So, working the back of your thigh and the calf. Rotating your ankle one way and the other, flexing your foot, pointing your foot, pressing it back towards your butt, your glutes. Alright, and then again, putting my knuckles right by your hip and rotating your leg back and forth as I put your foot back down. That feel okay? Okay, great. Alright. How you doing? Okay. Alright, I'm going to have you flip over. Mm -hmm. Alright, and slide down. So your head's on the table, not in the face cradle. Oh yeah, I've had this forever. Um, I bought this fabric in Bali. And it's actually where my tattoo comes from. Uh, let's see. I, I'm not sure if I can find the flower right now. But this flower is on this. Um, it's a very special kind of batik. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. It's one of my favorite things I've bought in Bali and then commemorated it on my wrist where I had a motorcycle accident in Bali, actually in Java, um, and I didn't like the scar, so I covered it up with a tattoo. <laughs> Alright, if you are ready, I'm going to scoop up some more of this honey. Get some of that. Okay. And just 
rubbing that onto your arms. Actually, I'm going to start with your face. Let's get your face. A good dollop of this honey. Yeah. Again, so what I really like about this is because it's cleansing as well. I don't really have to wash your face before I put it on. You can, if you'd like to. Um, but it's not necessary. Okay, just getting your jawline. Does that feel good? Okay. Yeah. Now I'm just going to use both my hands and just rub it in. So it will also exfoliate a little bit. I don't want to rub it all in because I want to sit on your skin a bit like a mask. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, if you want to get fancy about it, which when I was younger I did quite often want to do kind of home spa treatments, and so I would find recipes, like complicated recipes for things that I wanted for facials I wanted to make and face masks and or I'd go out and I'd buy kind of uh, not too expensive but somewhat expensive face masks it's actually as a treat not the most expensive thing but as I've gotten older and it's less about money and more just about time um, I have made my home spa treatments much simpler and the raw honey does everything I need and it's just one product I don't have to mix it all up I don't have to worry about doing a huge cleansing first I don't have to worry about very much at all all I have to do is make sure I have raw honey in the house and scoop out a dollop of it and there I have a beautiful face treatment okay so I'm gonna let that just sit on your face while I get a little bit more honey, and I get your decollete. So your neck and your chest. Okay, and then getting your shoulders and your arms. I got a bit on the back of your arms, but I know it's easier to get the front of your arms. Slide down a little bit. So we have the front of your arm, so your forearm. It's also really nice on your hands. Isn't it surprising that it's not doesn't feel sticky at all? Yeah, um, liquid honey does. I don't know what they do to it that makes it feel so sticky. But uh, regular raw honey just doesn't feel like that. It always surprises people. And that's why I always get go into so much detail and let them try everything before we start. Okay. I'm getting your hands good. Yeah, and it feels really decadent. And raw honey is a little bit expensive, but honestly, it's like with coconut oil. Coconut oil as a food product seems expensive. Um, coconut oil as a beauty product is dirt cheap. Beauty products are really expensive. Um, so when you do a lot of your beauty shopping in a grocery store with regular food items, um, you actually get quite a bargain where um, raw honey does cost more than regular honey. Uh, but it's better for you, and you can't, regular honey just doesn't work as well in beauty products at all. Well, yeah, like I wouldn't recommend doing a mask with regular honey, unless you're really going to wash your face good, because it is, it's sticky. Um, and I wouldn't ever use it as a scrub unless I had um, a shower in the spa room, or if I had like a Vichy shower, one of the, sh the shower heads they have over the spa table. Yeah, those are fun to work with, but um, those spa tables are, sorry, I'm going to work on your legs as I talk to you. Those spa tables are really a bit of a pain, I think. 
because they have a reservoir around the actual mat. Um, so as a massage therapist, I'm farther away from you. So they're okay for a scrub. Um, they're not good for doing a scrub with a massage afterwards. Yeah, they're because I, I'm a good uh, half a foot away from where the actual massage table part as starts, so um, it's a lot of bending over for me, and I can't get as deep pressure because I can't get at you as easily. They're also usually not quite as adjustable. Some of them are. They're really coming out with much better products. But um, okay, so now I'm going to work quite a lot on your feet um, because these are really nice. Um, on your feet, and this paired with the wax is really like a lot of a pedicure, except for the polish, um, it's because you're getting the exfoliation from the honey and then you're getting, it's almost like a paraffin wax. Um, if you've ever had like a, a deluxe pedicure where they put paraffin wax on and then um, put a little booty on to keep it warm. It's very similar except for the booty. Um, yeah, we are adding a treatment like that in as well. Uh, I think it's going to be combined with the coconut treatment because we've got a really nice coconut lotion that goes well with the paraffin wax. Yeah, so I think that's going to be all put together. Okay. All right, your feet are feeling wonderful. So now I am going to just get this wet towel again. to just wipe off your arms and your chest and neck, although I'm going to leave that mask on your face a little bit longer. Okay, and down your legs. And I'm going to get your feet good. Okay. Yeah, because I want, really want the wax to penetrate into your feet. Okay. All right, very nice, very nice, very nice. And let me just dry you off. Okay. So now I am going to begin massaging your arms. And I really just want you to relax. I massage your arms and your hands. And if you want to close your eyes, you're in very good hands. And just let yourself float away. Take some deep breaths in. With each exhale, all of your worries and concerns just totally release. And I want you to see yourself sitting on a beach. Okay, I'm going to move to your other arm. You're sitting on a beautiful beach. Try to hear the waves crashing just gently onto the beach. There's no wind. It's nice and warm and comfortable, but it's just getting towards sunset. Massaging your hands. Feel the sand underneath you. Hear the sounds of seagulls and cicadas. 
It's a warm summer day, and the sun is slowly setting and putting on quite a beautiful display for you. Okay, I'm going to move down to your legs. And your feet. Alright. And I want you to feel the heat of the sun as it touches your body and seems to penetrate right into your body. Feel the comfort of this energy filling you up. Other leg. <sighs> Just enjoy the feeling mm. being filled with sunlight, filled with energy, filled with the comfort of being cared for by this warm presence. to just wipe this honey off of your face a little bit. Keep just enjoying your beach. I'm going to take good care of you. So just cleaning off. There you go. All the honey. I'm not going to, again, worry too much about getting every last bit off as it is hydrating and cleansing and purifying for your skin. Okay, so yeah, just getting a little bit off there so that you don't feel sticky. And then I'm going to put this, this lotion onto your face, massaging it in as well. And I want you to make sure you are comfortable on your beach, just listening to the waves, enjoying the peace. And you notice behind you, away from the setting sun, is the moon. And you feel her presence as well as the light from the moon also touches your skin and fills you up with a calm, relaxing presence of this being caring for you and watching over you, just as the sun gives you a warm kiss goodbye and sinks below the horizon. Get your ears. <sighs> and feel the moon filling you up, releasing all of your worries and your concerns. And know that the sun and the moon are always there, even if they are hidden, watching over you. Beautiful. Okay, and I want you to take another deep breath in, sending you purifying, healing energy from me. Hear my voice. Feel your relaxed body on the massage table. Wiggle your fingers and toes a little bit. Good. And your treatment is done. When you feel ready, you can open your eyes. 
and slowly get off the table. And I will meet you out in the relaxation room with a drink, okay? Alright, I'll see you soon. Yes, you can drift off to sleep again.